What's up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Scrapebox Link Extractor add-on. So when you get your Scrapebox instance up and running, you go to add-ons and then scroll down to the Scrapebox Link Extractor. So this is a really unique uh, facet of Scrapebox, really important um, tool within Scrapebox. And you can basically use it to scrape into a variety of tiers of your URLs. And by using this tool, you can compound your URL list into the tens of millions uh, and even greater, depending on how long you're willing to wait, how many proxies you have and how long you're willing to wait, basically. Um, there's a variety of, of awesome uses for this thing. Uh, it, it really does depend on your use case. So let me just tell you about some, some ways that I use it. Uh, first of all, if I do a, any particular search, um, let's uh, let's pick a niche out of the air. Let's say uh, auto repair, right? Uh, if I was going to do an auto repair uh, scrape, let's see, uh, let's put this up here and then let's grab uh, top 5,000 cities here, throw this in here. And uh, let's say that I scraped a variety of URLs and that perhaps some of those were uh, directories, for example. Well, the problem is when you scrape, uh, say, a variety of directories or social media entities, whether it's uh, Yellow Pages or maybe Yelp, Facebook, and maybe some other social media like Instagram, perhaps, uh, you, if you were to scrape any data from those URLs, you would, um, you would only get, say, data that's directly on those pages. But in for for a lot of those directory entities, you're not they, uh, most of them. Some of them do like yellow pages might have an email on the page. But then a, a lot of those entities, uh, they don't have uh, they don't have naked information on the page. Uh, they might a lot of them will have phone numbers. But the main thing you want to go for is the URL of the website for the business owner on those pages. So that's where link extractor comes in. You can basically load your harvester engine uh, entities into link extractor. Let's grab uh, like a thousand URLs or something and see if we can uh, provide an, a, an interesting example. Let's just do this to the 30, 30s here. And uh, we'll go ahead and do Bing. But um, when you throw them in a link extractor, you can then uh, extract the links directly on those pages. And then once you have those links, then you know you can you can go another tier and another tier and another tier you know, if you wanted to. But mainly two or three tiers is pretty good, and um, you know that's really all you need. Uh, there's kind of an attitude in working with customers sometimes that where they really want. Um, they really want to be able to get this information from a directory and they really want it in, you know, columns and things like this. The main thing though, is that all directories uh, lead to a business hat that has a, a website. So really what you want to, what you really want to go after are the URLs from these different places. Not so much, you know, trying to piece together information straight from the directory, although there is a benefit to that, but, uh, since they're all kind of going to the same place, that's really where you need to get to. And oftentimes the search engine will get get you there anyways if you do enough searches. Anyways, uh, make sure you set your, your, your connections in here and you can kind of look at these settings and get an idea. This should probably be 15. And okay. And you can kind of have it self-clean in the settings, remove URLs not containing, because this section can get huge. Uh, depending how many URLs you're doing. I like to do external only, not internal. Otherwise, if you do internal, it'll get huge. Um, so that's a really great use case. Um, how many do we have here? About 8K. Let's stop this and just use our little sample. And uh, not too complete, but uh, scrub down to 6K. So let's sort this and we can kind of get us remove entries which are not URLs, remove entries when host is an IP, remove uh, URLs with extensions. And let's just take a quick look, see if we can spot any. So let me show you a neat trick while I have you guys here. Let's copy all these URLs to a clipboard. And let's open up one of these Excel sheets. I got this 
random chiropractor thing open. Let's just open a, a blank one. And let's do a data pivot table on this information. And actually, before I do that, I need to uh, I need to drop these down to here. Let me uh, let me save this information in a pad that has all these uh, these uh, these URLs. So I'm gonna, but I'm going to trim this main area down to uh, the root and then copy all the URLs to clipboard. This is without um, dropping it to, uh, or sorry, this is without scrubbing domains. You wanna leave the repetitions of the domains in there. So you paste those into say um, a spreadsheet column and then you can go to this insert thing and do a pivot table. And this is super useful because it allows you to see the con a concentration of URLs. And so you can kind of repeat this process as you watch me do it here. Just kind of drag this section of the rows and this section of the values, X this out. And then um, uh, should be uh, value filters. And do we want to do a sort first? Yeah, let's, let's do a sort first. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not too big of a list. Uh, descending Z to A, the count of Z to A, hit OK. This kind of gives you an idea. So we, we just want to be like 10 or more, basically. Then value filters greater than or equal to count of greater than or equal to 10. OK, now we can kind of see the repetitions here. And you can see yellow pages is at 590. And typically, if you let a scrape go for a while, you'll find that yellow pages is actually it just it just demolishes all the other competitors. It it it's significantly higher than like five of these combined uh, once you have like all the SERP data. Um, and then, but yellow pages is, is typically pretty big. Um, Yelp tends to thin out after a period of time, but you can see two different versions of Yelp, which is interesting. They don't have a proper redirect, I suppose. Foursquare. So th th this is, the purpose of this is to kind of see, okay, what are the directories ranking you know, and maybe figure out which ones we might want to isolate, for example, if you wanted to drill into some of these with a link extractor. And so the point is that you can actually hit multiple directories at one time using the link extractor rather than just focusing on one directory and being obsessive about it, right? So for the sake of this example, let's just isolate these top five, Foursquare, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook, or four, or however many that is. Okay, let me go back to this server. And we got to clear this and we got to grab this uh, information from our little uh, notepad. Let's paste this in here. Remove, remove URLs not containing Yelp. And so then we'll copy these to clipboard. And you can save these as files, but it's, it's way faster to do it like this. And then just, just keep paste and replace and then go... URLs not containing yellow pages. And copy all these. And you don't necessarily have to remove the other ones, but I'm doing it just for the sake of this example to show you, excuse me, how the link extractor can work pretty well with directories. You can, you know, I regularly drill into the other ones too. And then like, it, there are times when I have a list of like 50 million URLs and then you can go to the remove filter section and go remove URLs not containing. And then you can do what I call keyword filtering, where you basically just throw the list in and out, in and out. And you just filter for like, if, if this was auto repair, I would want to make sure that the URL had the word repair in it or auto or automotive, right? Or car, you know, anything like remotely rated to, related to auto repair, you know, window repair, maybe or something like and. And that's a good way to do what I call keyword filtering, where you can take a list of millions and millions and just, you know, chop it down to only the ones that are the most keyword relevant. Um, shoot, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> okay, remove URLs not containing Facebook. Okay, let's copy all these to clipboard. And that's probably pretty good. Let's just end it there. 
Uh, let's clear these out, or actually we didn't need to clear those. Uh, just paste replace here. Uh, let's just end it there and do the, just these three directories briefly and just kind of get a glimpse at maybe what we're able to achieve in the link extractor without, you know, doing a big, big job. Paste and replace all these. Let's, well, none of these are going to be duplicates, but let's then uh, go to our little link extractor, load these up uh, from the scrape box harvester and grab only the externals. So there's, what was there, 3,500 links? And then let's, our settings should be good to go. Nothing else to do here. Uh, and let's go ahead and click start. This should go really quickly. And we're definitely going to see we're definitely going to see stuff being pulled from um, yellow pages. So we'll just have to see how much we we get from the other two. I'm not sure if these proxies can do Yelp or Facebook for that matter. But I guess we'll see. There's yellow pages. Nothing so far for Facebook or Yelp, which is not a good sign. These are these particular proxies are data center proxies. So they may not even be able to break through on Yelp or Yellow Pages. But there are other directories out there that I've broken through in, like Hows. Um, you know, some of those uh, Hows. I know I did Hows once, like just some of those like really niche specific directories, you know. I've been able to break through with data center proxies with these, like I know with LinkedIn and with Google, you have to have premium residential rotating proxies. And there's only like a service or two that can do it that I'm aware of. So check out my proxy videos in my plate scrape box playlist, because that explains some of the higher end proxies. But with the data center proxies that I, re I recommend, uh, there's plenty of directories that you can do. It just so happens that some of the big stuff, it looks like we couldn't do, let's see. Looks like it's just yellow pages so far, but hey, if you want to if you want to get a lot of data from yellow pages, that's great. I mean, you, make sure you verify the information. Really good use case for it. But um, anyways, once you get that data, you can basically open that sh save folder and throw it into this pile here, and then you can do keyword filtering or all kinds of things. So the link extractor is really useful. It's sort of like the the bigger version, the more multivariated version of the grab check. Um, grab links by crawling site. This is kind of a, the, uh, a, a more simplified version because you can basically put a single URL and then you can put a variety of le levels here. And this one is really good because you can put site maps here and you can just put it at level one and then just scrape like the entire site map. Or in some cases, like you'll have a site map, like Yellow Pages has a, a site map like this where you can, what, is, what do I have here? Autotrader.co browse all makes. So apparently, I don't know, I don't even remember when I did this. It's kind of, it's kind of ironic that it, it's just like a, yeah, apparently I did, I was doing this one at one point for a client, I guess. But yeah, like there's all these on this autotrader.co.uk site, there's all these car dealerships for the UK. And so I guess I had this idea, I don't remember doing this, uh, to scrape all these car dealerships just straight from their site map. Um, so this would be level one, level two would be boom, clicking through on the Lamborghini dealerships. And then everything, uh, on this page would be at level two and then level three and so on and so forth. So for some, some directories, they have site maps that, that will be like category and then it'll, it'll go to like country and then it'll go to like state or something. Or if it's just us version of the website, it'll have like categories and then it'll go to all 50 states. So by the time you get to the second or third level, like you basically scrape this gigantic quantity of information. Um, so this is the grab links by crawling a site, little child version of it. This one's different because this lets you put a whole list. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so anyways, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I use the grab links by, uh, or wait a second, grab links by crawling site. Also the link extractor. So, uh, Yep, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, you just have to, you know, match your proxies with whatever directory you're going for, and it's super useful. But uh, thanks for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye.